Okay, final walkthrough of your Ape. Let's kind of talk through a couple things in here. You are getting two of the on switches. You can see, step outside, you can turn it on from a distance. There we go. All your lights turn on with that. Um, a couple things just control wise in here. All you need are the, uh, you got your low beams and I don't know if you can see that outside. Your high beams turn on with that. Uh, over here you have your left turn signal. You can hear it. And your there you go, right turn signal. Okay, the middle function is how you turn that off. Uh, let's see what else in here. Uh, nothing to use the clutch for anymore. The front brake is up here. Your foot pedal brake is down here. Now, if I were you, I would talk to Bellamoto, who you got this from. The stock brake uh, master cylinder is supposed to go on this, and it's a little pedal that steps down this way. Looks like they put on a different uh, master cylinder, which is actually, it's been leaking this whole time it's been here. Um, and so there's fluid in it, it's fine. The brakes work, um, I bled them, but um, you might wanna check in with them, the guys that you bought this from. Um, I've just been keeping a rag up here to catch all the drips because uh, this stuff is pretty corrosive to paint. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, you got a reverse button. So um, I'm including another switch in a box if you wanna switch this out, if you prefer kind of like a, I'm including a little toggle switch like this if you prefer a more physical, like turn it into reverse and then turn it off to reverse. Personally, I prefer just pressing this down and then twisting the throttle and going to into reverse. Uh, my advice, press this down, wait a second, and then go into reverse. The controllers have to switch into reverse. So there's that. On, off. You can hear it turn off. It's a little clicking noise. So this will be in here. All right, so underneath here, I'm gonna turn it off so I don't shock myself. A way that you can always tell that it is actually on is, you can kind of see it in that corner. There's a little green light that turns on. That tells you that it's actually on, but I'll turn it off. Uh, your wiring is pretty simple. You've got a controller on top and an identical controller on the bottom. They're wired together. Um, you won't really ever need to do anything with this. This is your little on and off switch. So if you ever have any problems, if this stops working, let me know, it shouldn't. Um, but just in case, I can send you the part number for that. Your battery is right here. Um, let me turn off my headlamp. That's kind of helping. Uh, you don't need a strap. I just threw a strap on here for shipping. Um, I made this compartment fit this perfectly in this battery. Uh, here are your positive and negative battery leads. My advice, always disconnect this when you're not using this. Um, it's not bad, but it's just a good safety practice. This is your charge lead. So you charge your, um, your battery with this lead right here. Okay, here's your fuse block and all your uh, 12 volt accessories can go through there. So if you're running any accessory lights uh, for the back of this, like you're turning this into like a little camper van or something, not a camper van, a uh, mobile bar, you could put 12 volt lights through there, all LEDs like that's on here now. Um, you've got your 12 volt LED flasher relay. So that's how your blinkers work. This is how your throttle works. So when you twist the throttle up here, you can see that moves. That's how your throttle works. Um, and that's pretty much about it. If you ever have any questions about the wiring, just email me, call me, and I can talk you through any issues that you might run into. I don't foresee anything. This should be pretty zero maintenance. Um, besides that, yeah, there's your Ape. So enjoy. You got uh, disc brakes on the back, drum brakes on the front. Fortunately, and just the way with physics works and vehicles, 70% of your stopping power comes from the front and only 30% comes from the back. Now that might be a little bit different since you'll have some weight back there and you have two wheels back there, but the disc brakes do definitely give you an enhanced braking um, ability. Plus there's a very slight regen braking so when you let off the throttle, these motors like a Tesla slow it down as well. So um, 
really, <laughs> you can pretty much drive around with just the front brake, but those rear brakes are on there and they're strong, um, which is always a good addition. So that's it.